Okay, so just finished at the gym. I'm hungry. I want something quick and easy. I'm craving Japanese food, but I'm also craving Italian food, and I'm usually kind of craving both of those. So uh, tonight I'm going to mash them both together. I'm going to do a carbonara with udon noodles, and uh, probably finish it off with a couple of bonita flakes on top just to get that uh, umami fishy flavor added in. So let's see how it turns out. So right now I'm just using some frozen bacon ends that I had kicking around in my freezer. These are from a local farmer's market in uh, Edmonton, Alberta. Uh, little more dangerous cutting from frozen, obviously, but uh, I do find that I like to keep bacon in my freezer so I can have, always have it. I'm just gonna do some larger chunks. This is actually quite a lot of bacon. Okay, just gonna render this bacon. Once the bacon's starting to get brown, I turn it right down to low. I just want to make sure that it's kind of just deep frying in its own fat, so uh, it doesn't need a lot of heat from this point on. I'm going to get this stuff relatively crispy, almost almost good for me. Um, at this point, I'm going to probably just pull it right off the heat. And it's going to keep going. It's going to keep finishing a little bit. Two eggs here, and to the two eggs we're going to add 30 grams of parm cheese, and I'm just going to whisk that all together. So to get the carbonara component, we're going to need quite a bit of pepper here. I can always add it to my eggs and my farm cheese like this, or I can actually toast it in the pan with my bacon and uh, release a little bit more of the uh, flavor. I don't find it makes that big of a difference though, so uh, I'm doing it this way. Next time I make it, I might do it the other way. It doesn't really matter. So I was just hit with a flash of inspiration and Got some traditional uh, Japanese nama panko, which is very uh, light. It's the stuff they traditionally would use in uh, tonkatsu uh, in Japan. So it's a, it's a fluffier, really light breadcrumb here. And uh, what I'm going to do with this, a little bit of butter, uh, and some furikake as well. So furikake. Furikake is the Japanese seasoning, so we got the seaweed, sesame seed, sugar, there's a little bit of, uh, usually a little bit of bonito or um, MSG in here. So this is going to give us that extra little kick of Japanese flavoring. I'm actually addicted to this stuff, so... And we're just going to toast these breadcrumbs up a little bit to add a little crunch to the final product. Pretty low heat here, just mixing it all in for now. And I'll let those toast up. For the udon, I'm just using a uh, frozen package of udon. Uh, fresh would be definitely better, but unfortunately, I don't have any. And uh, this is going to be the last thing I do. It's, uh, it's going to be pretty instantaneous once it hits the water. Um, so I'm going to do that basically right when I'm ready to have the whole dish come together. Got my breadcrumbs toasting here. They're on about a medium heat now. Uh, getting a little bit of color, which is great. And that's really all I'm looking for is just a bit of color. So I'm intentionally using a very small pot of water because I want to get as much starch from these noodles as I possibly can. So 
Um, I know typically when you're boiling pasta, you wanna use a lot of water, but uh, any residual flour here, it's gonna help me thicken up my sauce. I don't even know how much there is on here. Um, sometimes I'll actually do a little hack where I will uh, throw a little bit of water, throw a little bit of flour in my pot of water. Um, and that'll actually give me a bit more as well. So a few different ways I can bring this together. I can always, um, I can always do it in the pan as well. And I might actually put it back in the pan. We'll see if the noodles have enough heat to um, bring it all together and uh, cook the eggs ever so gently. If not, uh, I might have to go back to the pan and hit it with some of the pasta water. Okay, noodles are going in. And as soon as I add these things in, I'm gonna wanna mix this right away. Just to make sure there's no scrambling. I don't want scrambled eggs. I want a nice creamy sauce. Transfer it back into the pan just to thicken up the sauce a little bit. Hit it with some of that green onion that I cut up earlier. breadcrumbs here. Got some green onion strands just for color. There. And last, we're gonna finish it off with a couple of flakes of bonito. This is gonna really give it that Japanese flavor. All right, there we have it. Japanese inspired carbonara udon.